Hello everyone! What I have for you today is a Raspberry Pi using an Adafruit 16x2 RGB LCD plate to display ICAO METAR weather data. Now, when the program first loads, we are presented with a, select a station selection page. The first one that comes up is specified in the code as a default, which for me is Bluegrass Airport KLEX. So let's go ahead and select it. And immediately I can tell you that Lexington is under marginal VFR conditions. I'll get to that later, how I was able to tell you that so quickly, but let's see what we have here. The data gets pulled from aviationweather.gov, which is the FAA's official site, and it's what uh, pilots use for pre-flight weather briefings. The information that we have here is the METAR that got pulled down and it was parsed, so let's take a look at what we have. The top line gives us our station identifier code, so we can know exactly what airport we're looking at. We have the time of issuance in Zulu time, uh, 2130 Zulu, which is currently at a, for Eastern time, is at 5.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And over on the edge, we have our, bar our barometric pressure, which is currently at 3003. On the second line here, we have the rest of the METAR report, which is scrolling. It is auto. We have winds at 220 at 8 knots, visibility of 10 uh, statute miles. We have cloud layer that's broken at 1,400, broken at 2,200, overcast at, 27, at 2,700. And at the end, we have our temperature and dew point in Celsius, which was 25 and 2-2. Now, using this information, we could determine what the flight rules are. However, the program is smart enough to identify certain bits of the METAR report and determine what the flight rules are itself. Now, how it does this is it takes a look at the low, at the first cloud layer which uh, and determines if it is a ceiling and also looks at our visibility which here is 10 statute miles. It determines the flight rules which are either VFR, visual, marginal VFR, MVFR, instrument, IFR, or low IFR, LIFR. Now how it displays that is using the LCD backlight color. There are, uh, each of these flight rules has a color corresponding to it. Uh, green is VFR, blue is marginal VFR, what we see on the screen right now. Red for IFR and violet for low IFR. And these are the colors that are assigned to it by the FAA. Uh, the gen they are the generally used colors. So I can take a look at this for any airport and without looking at any of the information, tell you what the flight rules are for that given airport. Now, if we want to go look at a different airport, when the bottom bar is done with a scroll, if I'm holding down select, we get sent back to our selection screen. So, let's see what the conditions are at Kona, Hawaii, which is identifier P-H-K-O. So P, go up to H, K, O. We'll go ahead and select that. And it is currently VFR at Kona. The altimeter 29 or 8, which is pretty close to standard. And, yep. Uh, 10 nautical miles and few at 5,000, it is definitely VFR conditions. Now, let's see, what about another airport? How about San Francisco, which is K, 
SFO. Uh, to get back to my screen, I'm holding down select. And there we go. So K SFO to K. Whoop. Passed it. K S F O. Go ahead and select that. And San Francisco is currently also VFR conditions. So that's what I have for you. There are a couple of uh, user options in here. The default uh, values for it, uh, you can change the how often it updates. It's currently set to update its information for the given station every 10 minutes or so. Uh, METARs are reissued every hour or if there has been a significant change to the weather conditions. You can update how quickly the bottom row scrolls by. Uh, you can also choose to have it log the METAR data for every station. Uh, as soon as, whenever it goes and fetches a new set of data, it will add another uh, line to the log. And you can use this to either just log the, uh, log the weather information uh, for your own use, or uh, what I'm doing it for is keeping a log to further optimize the program. Uh, there are a couple things in here which uh, I can use to optimize, especially this bottom line here. Uh, for example, if the knots, if there is no wind, in other words, uh, this knot value here comes up as five zeros followed by KT, uh, the program was smart enough to look at that and, and uh, Instead of saying zero knots, it will put calm in there. It's a space, it is a space saver and also is a bit cleaner in the final readout. Uh, so there's a, you can do that with a couple of things. Uh, currently, the program is optimized for US reporting stations. That's the contiguous 48, uh, Hawaii and Alaska. However, it will still work internationally, but it, not, it might not report all of the, uh, it might not display all of the correct data. There are some variations when you go international, uh, but that could be worked on further down the line. So that's what I have for you. Uh, this is nice and fun. I can use this as a pilot to see whether I can go out flying. Uh, some of these METARs do have, uh, do have becoming uh, further reports, and it's also would be really easy to turn this into a TAF reporter, a terminal area forecast, which is more of a wider area and more of a forecast as opposed to current conditions. So that's what, uh, this has been fun. I got this put together and I am personally going to be using this quite a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye.